So it's another edition of Common Sense with Freddy, with Coach Wilfred Asukwa. So I'm sure you are already enjoying a lot of our content. And if you're just joining this channel for the very first time, please do not forget to smash on the red subscribe button below this video to join the community. And if you are just meeting me for the first time, I am a capacity builder. I am a coach. A certified John Maxwell coach. I'm also an IT consultant. I teach several IT certifications to get a lot of people up to speed. Again, welcome to this channel. So today I'm going to be talking to you about life in Yankee. The life we live in Yankee. So there are a lot of people that sit back in Africa and think um, people pick dollars on the street here in yankee like here in the u.s far from it that is not true it's as hard as it is where you are and it's interesting for you to understand that when you are planning to travel or you're planning to japa or some people may say when you're trying to relocate do understand that the same way you are working for your money in your current location you are expected to work even double where you're coming because everything over here is being paid for now it is also common that people that are yet to travel they will count their eggs even before they hatch you will see them plan that oh when i get to the us or when i get to the uk i will walk and i will send money home i will pay this i will pay that those dreams look and they sound very good and realistic get there first okay get there first and see if it's actually going to be working out the way you are planning it yes it is good to dream and aspire to work and make the money but guess what are you sure where you're going to stay you would be comfy or comfortable enough to work and make all that money just at your arrival are you sure your host will be able to accommodate you or understand how the system works to be able to get you up to speed? Are you sure you will be able to get a job without the right and privileges in terms of immigration status, immigration work authorization to be able to work and make all that money you are dreaming of? Listen, stop counting your eggs before they ash. Get there first. Arrive there safely. Make sure you have where to lay your head and sleep before you begin to count your eggs before they ash. Life in Yankee is fun only if you are strategic and you make right decisions upon your arrival. Many people come in and they want to solve all their family problems back home. Many people will come in and they get distracted with so many beautiful things and so many um, stuff that seems like they are cheap, like alcohol. Sometimes you notice that um, the emotional and intimate lifestyle in Nyanki is not as hard as it is in Africa when you are going after those, you know, you know what I mean, because they are overrated. Don't get distracted with all those fantasies why because that's not what brought you that's not what took you out of your village you came to make money ego so you need to be focused you need to plan you need to strategize and you need to be able to understand the fact that it's going to be one step at a time the spanish people will say poquito poquito so that by the time you are settling in you will be able to plan on how to manage and how to strategize your career that you are going to settle in. It comes with a lot of hard work. It comes with a lot of planning and it comes with a lot of strategizing. So life in Yankee is not as easy as you think. It is not as easy right as a lot of people paint it. But again, it depends on how you see it. Upon your arrival, I wish you all the best. From me to you, see you all at the top because the bottom is crowded.